In this video, we'll talk about the process of receptor-mediated endocytosis. But before that, let's learn what is endocytosis. Endocytosis is a cellular process in which substances are brought into the cell. And there are three categories of endocytosis, named as receptor-mediated endocytosis, phagocytosis, and pinocytosis. This particular video will focus on the mechanism of receptor-mediated endocytosis. Receptor-mediated endocytosis begins at the surface of the cell and it involves receptor-ligand interaction. So here are a lot of receptors which are displayed on the surface which can poss possibly bind with these ligands. After ligand binding, there would be recruitment of adapter proteins in the cytosolic half of this receptor. These adapter proteins are really crucial in this process of receptor mediated endocytosis. There are additional proteins known as bar family proteins which leads to membrane curvature not shown in this animation but the membrane would uh, be curved and they it would invaginate towards the cytoplasmic side. There would be recruitment of molecules known as clathrin. This clathrin organize themselves with the help of these adapter proteins and forms a clathrin coat and this is known as a clathrin coated vesicle. After a while these clathrin coated vesicles would hang from the membrane and a protein known as dynamine would actually pinch off this vesicle from the membrane and the vesicle is now internalized. Once internalized this vesicle can fuse with the endosome and inside the endosome, the pH is low. That is why there would be dissociation of the ligands from the receptor. Now the question is, what would happen to this receptor and the ligand? There could be many possibilities that can, that can be understood. So first, there is a possibility where receptor is recycled back and the ligand is degraded. There is also another possibility where the receptor is recycled and the ligand is also re recycled. There is also another possibility where the receptor is degraded and also the ligand is degraded. And let me give you an example. So, in case of LDL endocytosis, the LDL particle is actually processed, digested inside the endosome, but the re LDL receptor is displayed back on the surface. In case of iron transport with the help of iron carrier transferrin and transferrin receptor, both transferrin receptor and transferrin is displayed back on the surface. So that means receptor and ligand are both recycled on the surface. In case of let's say epidermal growth factor receptor, both receptor and the ligand is degraded and this is one of the mechanism by which the signaling via EGFR is uh, regulated. So now we understand how receptor mediated endocytosis works and also the nitty gritty details in this particular video. All the notes associated with this video is found in my uh, Facebook page. The link is provided in the description. Don't forget to check out and like that page. Anyway, if you like my video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can support my channel in Patreon. If you're an Indian viewer, viewer you can support my channel via Beam UPI app. My courses are present in Unacademy, which is India's biggest large, uh, biggest online learning platform. Using our code AP10, you can get a 10% discount on the subscription. I'm also present in all the social media. The links are provided in the description. So feel free to connect with me. See you in the next video.